Hey everyone, welcome back. For my new friends that are joining us, my name is Ashley. I'm a transgender woman. I'm 38 years old, and this is my online journal. I talk about things with my transition as well as my day to day. So if this sounds like something like you are interested in, let's just go ahead and pull up a chair and we'll talk for a little bit. So obviously in school, it can be kind of difficult to, to fit in and make friends, find things to do. You know, a lot of people will end up oh, going to parties and stuff like that. And at these parties, they'll get introduced to drugs and alcohol. Let's do all the drugs. I'm sure as you've guessed it by now, this week's video is about drug addictions. I was very, very fortunate and very lucky that this is not an addiction that I have ever dealt with. I have known a lot of people that have dealt with it. Not everybody is so lucky or fortunate not to have these afflictions. This week, I'm gonna be talking about what I've watched two different family members go through and how it's affected them. So just like in the past, how I've started out with giving the definition, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Addiction is a neuropsychological disorder characterized by a persistent and intense urge to engage in certain behaviors, often usage of a drug, despite substantial harm and other negative consequences. Repetitive drug use often alters brain function in ways that perpetuate craving and weakens self-control. So I do want to start out with uh, the fact that I have never been addicted to drugs. I'm going to be speaking from uh, the viewpoint of watching others that have dealt with these addictions and how it's caused problems in their lives. Yeah, I did. I did try some drugs. Next summer will be 10 years since I have done any drugs whatsoever. Never really cared for them. I can count on less than both of my hands how many times I've actually um, purchased anything. I've tried a pot. I personally, not really for me, I wasn't interested unless I was already drinking. When it comes to hard drugs, the, the hardest drug I ever tried, um, and I literally did um, two bumps of it, which was coke. I talk a lot anyway, and all that did was make me talk even more. And we all know I really don't need to talk more. I did a couple different pills, but they were always prescribed to me. Um, occasionally, I might take an extra one while I was drinking or something, which uh, again, I don't, I don't recommend doing any of these drugs or any of the behaviors that are discussed in this video or the series, except for recovery. I highly suggest that. The only drug that I ever actually did that I enjoyed was mushrooms. I've only done that three times. Not really a, a lot of drug use in my personal history. Through my family, we, we definitely have um, people that have had their, their drug addiction. Some of them weren't quite so lucky. I'm actually going to talk about uh, two family members, one of them I'm going to share uh, with a story that has not really come with success, and one of them I'm going to share that does bring success. So let's go ahead. Um, when I started watching my family members, my brother and one of my cousins, watching what it did to them, honestly, it, it, it broke my heart made me sad. You know, I saw so many changes um, in, in both of them. Obviously with drug addictions, uh, people, their personality changes, um, causing different habits. They get in the habit of lying. Some people get in the habit of stealing. And those are all things that create broken trust. And you know, that puts strains on everything. Other things that you watch is you, you watch people as they just destroy their health. We've all seen drug addicts that, you know, have lost their teeth or have become emaciated and, you know, they have 
source that they pick at and you know so I mean health has become a, a real factor in it some of those changes like I said people becoming you know more and more dishonest doing things that cause them to get criminal records I have family members that have been arrested for felonies because of some of the dumb shit they did when they were messing around with drugs some of them had well uh, some of them have ended up in prison you know and, and now they've got that felony record which can make it difficult to to get certain jobs now I want to clarify right here I am not better than anyone I'm not trying to like soapbox preach down at anybody the dumb shit that I did growing up and even into my adult life uh, the only difference that separates me from the people that actually got a criminal record because of these addictions is the, the shit that I was doing when I was doing I just didn't get caught and that's really the big difference here anyway back to it I saw a lot of broken relationships loss of communication with family members a lot of broken friendships it's really sad because you watch these people that you you genuinely love and, and you care about and they've, they've done these things that makes it difficult for you to trust them to, uh, to open up with them and and whatnot while they're in the grips of their addictions people can eventually recover you know um, I'm gonna kind of slow down a little bit right here and talk a little bit more my brother um, is I I wouldn't say he has recovered um, he's currently um, incarcerated and with that said um, there's no telling what what's going on in the facility that he's in and I genuinely hope that he does reach sobriety and become clean in there uh, while he is serving out the remainder of his sentence um, I know that before he went into before he went to prison this most recent time uh, the last times I had had communication with him I know he was still drinking and and smoking pot but I don't know if he was doing any of the other things that he used to do um, but he was definitely not uh, probably in a position of um, honestly being clean um, my my cousin um, yeah I would say she has recovered uh, just spoke with her recently and she's no longer drinking uh, you know not using any of the hard stuff that she used to and and honestly I couldn't be prouder of her so uh, great job there uh, the broken relationships um, has my brother been able to fix them um, again I can't speak on his behalf I can speak from he and I's relation standpoint there is definitely a lot of stuff that has to be worked through a lot of stuff that was swept under the rug and just overlooked uh, that I would like to address with him um, I honestly I I don't know if I will ever um, attempt to fix and repair this relationship um, now he might do what he needs to uh, to, to reach closure and whatnot and, and if that's the case I respect it as well my cousin on the other hand she is continually trying to repair those relationships and um, she's she's succeeding in some departments while 
um, recognizing that the past has made some of it difficult for people to move past. And, you know, through our, our communication with one another, I hear her talking about how she's trying really hard and and just doing everything that she can. And again, I, I can't be more proud of her. You know, usually when I come to the end of when I'm talking about the addictions and whatnot, I usually come up with some kind of a silver lining. And honestly, I can't really think of a silver lining that pertains to having the drug addiction. But I can come up with a silver lining for getting past the drug addiction is the fact that my relationship with my cousin is definitely been repaired and watching her smile and be happy and I just, I, I couldn't be more and more proud of her. If you, a family member, a friend, a coworker, someone you know is struggling with an addiction, don't hesitate um, to offer this phone number up to them. What's going good for me right now? I have been attending Alcoholics Anonymous and I started this on the 9th of September, which was my six month anniversary. Yesterday, I celebrated my 200th day of being sober. And honestly, I can say that I genuinely enjoy going to my AA meetings. I look forward to them and you know i thought it would be a bunch of hokey bs but um honestly putting the effort in and and whatnot totally totally excited and just just enjoying the 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 learning and the healing process myself unfortunately that's all i have time for this week if you enjoyed this video go ahead and hit the like button don't forget to comment down below and let me know if you have any advice for maybe how I can go about repairing uh, relationships with other family members that I didn't speak about on here. Go ahead and subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll get weekly notifications for when I upload videos. As you know, I upload videos weekly on Wednesday at 8 a.m. Eastern Time in the U.S. Please share these videos. These videos are not here just for me to look back at, but also to help other people with their transitions, as well as the things that we talk about through the videos. You can follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. And I'm also on Snapchat. I just recently started a Patreon account where you can find me. And here is the link. Next week, I usually give you guys a little bit of a heads up, but due to the, uh, the, the hurricane that's coming in this direction, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do this week, but uh, we'll just call it a mystery video for next week. Remember, I love you all. I hope you're being safe. Can't wait to see you again. Bye.